It's already gone. All right, we are getting started. Welcome to today's uh, JV stream. We are playing against, what are they, Campo Verde High School. Um, and today we are doing a blackout, whatever that means, where all of our cars have taken on a black color. Obviously, the other teams still got their standard colors, but we are black, so that's the thing. Not entirely sure why, but I'm sure it has something to do with current world events. The game starts off uh, with a bang, with a bit of fighting over the ball going on between the two teams. Um, a couple of aerials attempted. Both teams are chasing after the ball, as usual. Uh, quite a few cars that are up on the roof. Got a great demo there from Boat Phaser. But the person respawned just in time to be able to hit the ball. And first goal goes to Boat Phaser. That was a good goal. So, at, once again, the ball is being chased around by our players and their players. The most skills is uh, apparently attempting to knock the ball around. Boat Phaser takes the ball once again. Yellow System takes it away. Bit of a bounce match. And lots of chaos is happening, but it's all good. And a goal, a uh, demo from X Demon. I didn't get to see it, but it happened. Well, there's a bit of a lull in the action. Uh, actually, no, I'll wait for later. Maximize the chances. Ah, we'll find. It. You'll see later. Bounces all from the ball, bouncing all around. X Demon attempts the goal, but Phaser blocks it. And a goal from LA Beam. Not much is happening. We got an aerial from Vortex. That was pretty good. LA Beams uh, completely null and voids it. Boat Phaser hits the ball. X Demon hits it away. Vortex uh, aerials it towards the goal. Boat Phaser attempts to block it, and great goal! They just walked it right in there. Nice.
One minute remaining. Thirty seconds remaining. At this point, it's still anyone's game. We could still make a goal, but they could still keep us from getting a goal or make a goal themselves. Who knows what'll happen? Ten seconds. Round one goes to Campo Verde. Alright, so while we are in between games, I would like to give a quick shout out to X Demon's little brother Jonah, who said he would be watching today. Thank you for watching, Jonah. No funny story, I actually have a friend named Jonah in my math class. Not the same person, definitely not, but still, it's funny. Looks like we have switched out one of our players, and they are, are trying to get their players back into the game. It looks like they're switching out a couple, too. I hear yelling coming from the varsity game. They're doing well. We are currently watching Sea Cactus. Si oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to put it on auto cam. There we go. So, in our game, we currently have Sea Cactus 6, who's actually sitting right next to me. Hey, bro, say hi to the stream. I don't know if you heard him, but he said hi. So yeah, uh, that's a good time. No one has scored yet, and we are 40 seconds in. And people, everyone's fighting over the ball, attempting to get it to move even an inch either direction. I mean, I'm going to take a minute to rant about uh, the vending machines here at the school. Because I was all excited, because I brought a dollar so that I could get a Coke. During, uh, for, before the stream. Because I really wanted a Coke. So I brought a dollar. And I put the dollar into the vending machine. But the Coke was $1.25. Uh, so I got out a quarter. And I put a quarter in the vending machine. And it kicked it back out. So I put it in again. And it kicked it back out. And the process repeated several times. Occasionally it would actually go in. But it wouldn't register. So I had to kick it back out manually. And finally, after long enough, it just took the quarter, got stuck in the slot, and then did give it back. And so, uh, um, I had to go to the front office to see if they could help me, and they couldn't help me. And by the time I got back to the vending machine, it forgot that I ever put a dollar in. So I wasted a dollar seventy-five to not get anything. But then Coach Alfred got me a Coke from the teacher's lounge, so I got a Coke. So while I was ranting about vending machines and Coke, apparently, uh, um, what is their name again? Campo Verde, apparently they scored. I always forget the name of the other team. It's probably something bad for the announcer to forget the name of the other team, but I did, so sue me. And another goal. Once again goes to Campo Verde. This one honestly wasn't even as impressive. It just kind of like bounced in slowly. But it's a goal's a goal, and they do deserve it, kind of. I don't know. Whatever.
So just so that everyone knows, unfortunately, because I am on a uh, side computer, I only have one monitor to use, and therefore I cannot see the stream chat and watch the game at the same time. So if anyone's messaging me via the stream chat, I cannot see it unless I tab out of the game, and that would be defeating the purpose. Although I will check it right now real quick. And apparently we had a couple messages uh, from someone. Uh, first saying uh, that Willow is deserving to win. Ah, they said, let's go Willow. Uh, and then I said to check with someone about a Coke. I didn't get to read the whole thing because the game restarted. I got to keep an eye on the game, but I will check again after this point. Apparently they had two shots on the goal. Well, that must have been a glitch from the game based off of the fact that it was bouncing back and forth between the wall. Uh, sea Cactus has just demoed one of their players. Good on them. And a goal from Boat Phaser. That is the second or third goal. Whatever. They made a few goals. Once again, check the stream. Check with OP Otter for your... Oh, references. For those who don't know, that was a reference to the SeaWorld San Diego show, Clyde and Seymour, where there is a scene where an otter steals a Coke from a vending machine. That's a fun little reference. With one minute left on the clock, I say this game is about ready to go to Campo Verde as well. Oh, five points for Campo Verde. The most skill Z35 has scored once again. Boat Phaser had completely misses the ball when it's right next to him. LA Beams keeps the ball out of the goal. 30 seconds are left on the clock. The most kills has hit the ball towards the goal. Ooh, great save by Boat Phaser. That was a great aerial save. Just because they're on the other team doesn't mean I can't compliment them. Once again, the varsity guys are yelling about something. I'm not entirely sure what. You'll have to go watch the Twitch stream, Twitch stream to find out. And that's game. Round two goes to Campo Verde. Once again, check the stream chat, nothing new. Just as a reminder, if Will if Campo Verde wins the next game, then the ga wins the next round, then the game is over. Because best three uh, three out of five. And the game will actually tell us when they win because I set it to only play five to play five games maximum. So if uh, one team hits three games, then it wins, and it's great. We are waiting for their, the person player glass of carbon to ready up so that we can go to the next game, or it'll just automatically take us in seventeen seconds. Oh, there we go. They must have readied. Ooh, we have four people on our team for some reason. Someone needs to... There we go. Oh, too many people left. Okay, there we go. All right. I think we're ready. <laughs> oh, they have an extra person. This is unfair. Okay, good. They're gone. They're gone. <laughs> All right. This is the final game of the... Or the final round of the game. Right off the bat, great goal from Vortex. And we get to see the cool snake. See the snake? It's a cool snake. Oh, it was actually knocked in by LA Beans. 
they are apparently not very salty about the fact that they've just scored on their own team. We seem to be having issues with players leaving and rejoining, because the player list at the bottom keeps shifting. And another great goal from Vortex Crazy. Just as the uh, varsity guys are yelling about something. That one was a score by the most skills. Just casually uh, mess with them a little bit. Anyway, we have a third goal by Vortex. They are really carrying the team today. It looks like we may have a shot of winning this one. I believe they switched out one of their players, but I'm not sure because I haven't been paying attention. Yeah, because the most skills uh, left and Glass of Carbon's here instead. Or is it Bolt Phaser that came? Whatever. Point being, uh, one of their players left and was replaced by another person. Three minutes and 43 seconds left. My mask keeps slipping off. their players left again either they're switching out a player again or they're oh the most skills is back i don't know what they're doing but they're switching out players like hotcakes great save by yellow system ah So I actually found out what the bicycle icon means when you get a little badge with the bicycle over that has a little like braking symbol on the back. You get it when you hit the ball with the back of your car. Like at full force. I never knew that. It is just chaos over here on the JV stream while there is a lot of yelling going on in the varsity stream. Everyone's fighting over the ball. I don't think anyone's made a goal in like two minutes. We've been at three points for a while. I thought we might get a goal here. Oh, nope. LA Beans. Oh, oh my gosh. So I've been reading it the entire time. It's L.A. Beans, B-E-A-N-S, as in the fruit, or is it a, whatever, the, the food? But it's L.A. Beans, B-E-A-M-S, as in, you know, like, laser beams. I've been reading it wrong the entire time. There's only a minute left on the clock, and, the, and another goal this one for the other team. It took them three minutes and 19 seconds, but they did it. All right.
30 seconds left. Got a demo from the most skills. Kept a goal from yellow system. More yelling from the varsity stream. The most skills attempts to walk it. Vortex takes it. Glass of carbon fights Vortex. More chaos ensues. Eight seconds. And time's up. We win these. Let's go. Alright, so Willow won that one, meaning we are going into game four. The score is currently two to one as far as rounds go, with them being on two and us being on one. While we wait. And here we are. They are switching out some some of their players. We are switching out some of ours. And it looks like this is our lineup for the game. We got the same players on our team. They have the same players on their team. So I don't know why we had the little like swapping around section, but whatever. We have Vortex hitting the ball, Ellie Beam's hitting it away, and we are soon to be a minute into the game. Vortex saves the ball from going in. Great save from Vortex. Balls on the wall as usual. Most skills steals the ball from Vortex. LA Beams knocks it away from the goal. That's too bad. If they had been a bit more precise, they would have had a shot. Five of the six people in the game were in that big pile up right there. Great save from Vortex. I thought that was a bit of an aerial save, so all in all, a pretty good save. I'm glad he um, pulled it off. And first goal goes to Sea Cactus. High five, Sea Cactus. Yeah. With only half the game left and only one goal, it's still anyone's game. The ball is once again bouncing around. Everyone is chasing it, and it is pure unrivaled. Yellow system attempts to uh, 
Uh, follow the ball. Uh, four out of the six players are over here. Three of the Willow players. One of... Uh, what's their name again? Campo Verde. One of Campo Verde's players. Minute 30 left. And first, uh, sco another score from Sea Cactus. Looks like Willow's having a comeback. Thirty seconds remaining. Everyone's fighting over the ball, trying to get that last minute point. Although I guess last second, whatever. You guys know what I mean. A few seconds left. And, ooh. Oh. And that's game. Game four goes to Willow. It is two to two. The winner of the next game wins the, wins the entire thing. Whoever wins the next one wins all the marbles. Hey, Mario. Mario, say hi to the stream. Hi, stream. <laughs> Mario's the varsity streamer today. I can't help but picturing him in red overalls sometimes. Alrighty, we are going into our fifth and final game. Alrighty, we are in director mode. I always forget to switch out. Nah, I'm good. I mean, if you want to talk into the mic, that's fine, but I'm just keeping the headset on. All right, so we have uh, everyone chasing the ball around, as per usual with this game. Everyone is missing it. Literally three people have tried to go for the ball and missed it. It took Boat Phaser practically inching the, uh, towards it, poking it to get it moving again. Cactus and Boat Phaser both follow the ball. 
Vortex hits the ball. Vortex aerials the ball. That almost goes in, but Boat Phaser has an amazing save. We are a minute in, and no one has scored yet. This one may go into overtime. Sorry, what? I don't remember the score either. Oh, for this game, yeah. I'm constantly having conversations off stream just because people try to talk to me even though I'm talking to the stream. I hear something about a stolen hat. Okay. We are currently two minutes in and nothing has happened on the scoreboard. This is the longest I've seen it go without a score aside from the one time where we literally didn't score and we had to go into overtime with zero points. Ooh, just as I said, that first point goes to, what were they again? Camp Verde. Boat Phaser completely forgets that they're supposed to rush the ball. Uh, Vortex hit, almost makes it in. Seacax is attempts to uh, um, assist Vortex. Neither of them do very well. Seacax just almost makes it in, but it bounces off the corner. The most skills has bounced the ball off the wall. Vortex keeps it away from the goal. Ooh, attempted goal from Vortex so using uh, a walking technique blocked by Boat Phaser, who knocks it back towards our goal. And the most skills attempts an aerial, but it bounces off the wall. Vortex knocks the ball away from an attempted goal by LA Beams. We have a bunch of the varsity guys watching. Say hi, varsity guys. We have a minute and 45 seconds. And another goal to Camp Verde. Whenever I try to remember the name, I think Paulo Verde as in the tree. And just, I don't want to say Paulo Verde because I know it's not right, but it's the only thing I can think of without checking. All right, yet another kickoff. LA Beams hits the ball. It actually goes away from the goal. That's good for us. Yellow Systems taking the ball. Vortex Crazy hitting the ball. Yellow following up. The most skills trying to hit the ball in. Sea Cactus takes the ball and runs with it. Attempted goal blocked by the unforgiving coldness of the wall. One minute left. And we'll pull through with this. I hope so. Ooh, there we go. Goal by Vortex. We can make another goal within the time limit. I believe in them. Alrighty, yet another kickoff. Vortex is chasing the ball, and he falls off the wall for, for some reason. Vortex is now knocking the ball away, trying to chase it. The most skills knocks it away. Sea Cactus takes the ball, runs with it. That seems to be his specialty. Boat Phaser takes the ball, knocks it away. Vortex knocks it back onto their side of the field. It is pure unrivaled chaos. 30 seconds left. Boat Phaser knocks the ball. Vortex tries to hit it, but fails. Sea Cactus actually does hit the ball. The most skills chases the ball and does a roundabout, but Sea Cactus takes it from him, tries to hit it in. Boat Phaser takes it away and is running with the ball towards our goal. Vortex takes the ball, hits it towards the ceiling, and tries to aerial it again, but misses. Sea 
yellow system blocks the ball from going into the goal, and they are attempting to bring it back over to the other side of the field without it hitting the... Ah! <sighs> and the game goes to Campo Verde. Our team played well, though. All right. 